as you can see in front of us, uh, I found a Honedge, and we're actually going to try to catch it uh, this go-around. Um, so, yeah, let's go for it. Let's see if this Pokeball works. Oh, of course not. And that's actually not good because we don't have a lot of Pokeballs. So, yeah, this might be a little, this might be a little tough. Alright, so let's go our last Great Ball because we only had one Pokeball, one Great Ball. I should have got some more Pokeballs before this. Uh, oh, there we go. Alright, we had to catch our Hone Edge and a Great Ball, but that's, there's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, there we go, Flavive, level 18, not bad at all. Alright, so let's see, is Hone Edge entry right here? Alright, not bad. Hone Edge, a sword Pokemon. Apparently this Pokemon is born when a departed spirit inhabits a sword. It attaches itself to people and drinks their life force. Well, that's kind of um, not good. And we're not going to give a nickname, so let's go. Alright. So, yeah, box one, alright. So, I guess, welcome back to Pokemon X, everybody. Um, the last episode, I said that I was going to catch a Hone Edge. Uh, and, like, at the beginning of the episode for this time. So, we got that real fast. And that's all good and dandy. First, I'm going to go heal up my Pokeball real fast up here. And then we're going to move on to um, Route 6, where we haven't actually advanced from the Snorlax Bridge. So, yeah, we're actually moving on um, now. And it's great. Alright, so let's heal up real fast. Alright. So, last time, basically all we did was we challenged all the trainers on Route 7. And that was basically it. Um, so that wasn't a very exciting episode, but just one part of that was we did start question of the day. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Oh, check this out. It's Tierno and the guy I can't remember his name. Oh, hey, King Kyle. Trev said he wanted to check out the Pokemon Daycare. Come with us. Trev, so Trevor, that's his name. Alright. Uh, this is the Pokemon Daycare. They take care of Pokemon you for you here. Yes indeed, you can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen when you leave two Pokemon here. Bow chicka wow wow, something's about to go down. That's right, sometimes we'll find an, a new addition, like an egg. If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow, a Pokemon will come out? Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might step up my dance... Ugh, I can't talk. How about you, King Kyle? Uh, some of the time I will. I'm not really making into making my Pokemon do that. Um, so yeah. Hey, wait, Tiana, wait up. Alright. I'm just gonna leave here. You guys make Pokemon breed, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna exit out of here nonchalantly. So we see this guy. This guy's the guy that gives us the eggs. And Tiana's up here. He's looking for Pokemon. Mmm, what do you say? Hey, King Kyle, have you seen a Dunsparce? No, I haven't. I don't really want a Dunsparce either, so I'm just going to run away. Oh, we got to check trainer tips. In the summer, you can see your uh, Just move the Pokemon's move. There's no reason for that. And, ooh, the, the kid, I can't remember his his twin. A, he a heated battle against the traveling trainer should provide me with the inspiration I need. All right, that's good for you. All right, so you're challenged by artist Georgia. All right, so she sends out a Smeargle. Not surprised, because Smeargle is the Pokemon of artists. And we're gonna actually... I don't know, I think we should... Um, we're gonna troll this thing, we're gonna use Smoke Stream, because it's gonna get that move off of us. Alright. Oh, it has Water Gun? Wait a second, what? I thought it was actually gonna use Sketch. But okay, it has Water Gun, so we're just gonna use Dragon Rage. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Huh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, Dragon Rage works wonders, like I was saying last episode. Alright, 301, not bad at all. And we got a level 20 Charmeleon. So we're actually going to switch him out. We're going to have somebody else battle. Um, Furfro's level 14, not bad at all, either. Our little dog. 
All right. You know, let's let's see. Who do we want to have out first? Um, let's go. So we have in our party, Flava Bay, Pancham, Skido, Furfro. I'm actually gonna put out Flava Bay because Pancham, Skido, and Furfro still need to grow a little bit. Um, and after they're done with that, I can start ha using them. And that's just Trevor in the grass right there. Oh, here's a oh here's a double battle. Let's see who are we gonna use. I'm. I'm actually seeing a team between Pancham and Flava Bay, the dream team right here. Alright. Alright, show us your magnificent display in battle to get us this painting started. Oh, alrighty, let's do this. These two painters. Mo oh, I get it. Mona and Pablo. Oh my goodness, if you guys don't get that, I, I don't know. Alright, so what... I'll, I'll try to explain it. So, there was once an artist who a lot of you probably know. His name was Pablo Picasso. He uh, drew, well, he painted a picture called the Mona Lisa. So, Pablo and Mona. So, yeah, that's... I get it. Alright, that did nothing. That was... Alright, here we go. Bang. Pan Sham is amazing. Uh, just a second, I'm gonna, well, the, everybody's like, fight, well, actually, after this next move. Ooh, um, Comet Punch, we'll forget something. Comet Punch is not a bad move. Um, uh, let's forget Tackle. Alright. There we go. Comet Punch, not bad at all. Skittles level 15. Sweet. Alright, so let's use just Fairy Wind, and then Karate Chop. In just a second, guys, I have to go grab my notepad from the opposite side of my room. Alright, sorry about that. Um, I had to grab my notepad because I have the question of the day on the notepad. Um, so, and because of talking about this, I think it would be a perfect time for question of the day. Um, so... Uh, it's most likely that we have um, all the Megas revealed for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Um, it's just like a couple days before the game comes out where I'm at. Um, so it actually hasn't come out, so we haven't been able to see if it leaks or not. But um, before we get to this building, um, the question of the day is, uh, what Pokemon would you like to see Mega Evolve in the future? Uh, so it can be from any generation or anything. Um, but one Pokemon I'd love to see Mega Evolve uh, is actually my favorite Pokemon, which is Tropius, and I'll talk a little about Tropius later, uh, after this little cutscene, but Kyle, do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau, and it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos's eight gym leaders. Alright, that's good. We're actually not going to do the Battle Chateau, um, until like a later point. Um, maybe we do it at some point, I'm not sure really, but... So, while we're battling this, excuse me, um, while we're battling this next trainer, um, I will talk a little bit about Tropius and why I want him to have a Mega Evolution. So first of all, Tropius is my favorite Pokemon out of all the 700 and I don't even know how many there are right now, I, I haven't checked on the number, like, I don't, actually, I don't, I shouldn't know what the number is, but I just don't know off the top of my head. Um, but I feel like, um, Tropius is a... He's a Pokemon that nobody, nobody uses, and, um, I think he has a lot of good potential. Uh, the only problem is his ice weakness, um, but, I mean, you could give him a special ability, like Thick Fat. Um, you could do a whole bunch of things with Tropius, and I feel like nobody uses him, um, and that he is a great Pokemon that some people should use. So, and, and plus, it'd be, it'd be pretty cool as a Mega Evolution. Um, and, like, as you've seen with, like, Pokemon, Audino was never used, um, let's see, who else, Beedrill was never used, Pidgeot never used, and those are, those are only from Omega Ruby and Alpha, Alpha Sapphire, so, um, I think it's just amazing how, um, they were able to do this sort of thing, and, oh, here we go!
Flabba Bay's evolving. I didn't know it was going to come to this point because I've never trained a Flabba Bay, but here we go. And there we go, we got ourselves a Floet. So, not bad at all. I I like Floet. Floet's a good Pokemon. Um, it looks good, at least. I haven't ever trained it, of course, but um, I think it's a good Pokemon. And oh my goodness, we got a trainer battle coming up here. So we're gonna, we're gonna, why not? Let's start off with, yeah, we'll keep Floet out first for this little battle. Um, and yeah, hey, Serena. Oh, the battle music. If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go with Tiano and Trevor versus King Kyle and me. Uh, yes. Let's do it. Okay, King Kyle. Since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? Alright, here we go. This is not a- this is a good battle. Alright, you are challenged by Tiano and Trevor. Alright, they both got- I should have- they have- one of them has two and one of them has one. So, yeah. She's gonna set out a Fletchling, but I'm setting out a Floet. So, automatically, I'm seeing that we gotta go with a uh, Razor Leaf. I know it's gonna hit them both of them. Go for a Razor Leaf to get that Corefish. Alright, so then. Let's see, how much. Uh, it's not gonna do much to either. I guess Floet doesn't have really a good. A very high special attack. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, I should probably look into it to see what type of moves I should give Floet. Um, but yeah, and plus, it, well, the grass type moves don't even have type effect. Like, I mean, sorry, like the type advantage because Floet's not a grass type. Floet is just plain fairy. So yeah, that's how that goes. Alright, so, Corefish is down for the count, and then, I think that's Tierno's only Pokemon, so, and Pancham is level 16, Furfro is level 15, everybody's growing nowadays, and we don't want Furfro to learn Tail Whip, I mean, it'd be cute, but no, it's, it's not necessary. Alright, oh, Fletchling just got destroyed right there. Probably because it's not a Fletchinder like mine, but I don't even have mine in my party, so uh, what can I say? Alright, we're almost- Oh, are you kidding me? Of course we get static. Of course, it's just my luck. Alright, Quilladin. Not bad. Alright. Chessman was actually my first starter from the Kalos region, so I mean, I, I like- I like that a lot. Um, we're actually gonna go out to a Fog of Year. Hopefully not get hit by a Thundershock or whatever. Because if that's the case, that'd be bad. Oh, quick attack. No, that's alright. Alright, now we're just gonna... Oh, there we go. That's gonna kill Pikachu, and it's time. It's time for the last Pokemon, which... I'm not sure what he has as his last... His last Pokemon. Um... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Alright. Fogadier grew to level 24. That's good. Fogadier's getting up there. Oh, he has a flower day? Hmm, interesting. Oh, is it? Is that really orange cream? It's orange cream like mine. That's that's not fair. You can't copy like you can't copy that. He keep copied orange my orange cream fl uh, floet. That's that's just downright cold. That's what that is. All right, bite's not effective, dude. Learn your type. I mean, Serena, you're not a dude. Um, learn your type effectiveness. Alright. So there we go. Lava Bay is down. For the count. Alright. And there we go. That is, that is all good right there. I like this music, though. I'm sure it's interesting to see how different each trainer's style is. Oh, uh, well, I should be heading off to Embrett Town then. Alright, bye, Serena. 
Oh, this is the cool part. Alright, I like... I like what they did with this. Um... How... You can... Actually, wait a second. Where's this... Oh, hey now. There's two parts. Connecting cave. What's this down here? I don't remember what this is. Oh, they're both... Oh, that's a shortcut to Solage City. Um, and I'm not sure... I don't think you can make it to Solage City yet. Because I think there's something blocking the way, but... Let's just try, at least. And I don't want to face Zub Zubats. Oh, we're going to face a trainer instead, so... Let's actually take out Floet. Let's add... Let's put Skiddo out there. Just, just see what happens with the Skiddo. Skiddo. Skiddo? Skiddo? I don't know. What, how'd you say that? How well have you raised your Pokemon? Let's have a battle and I'll let you know. Alright. I'm pretty sure this cave is blocked off. And ooh, she is the bay. Mercy. Mercy me. Mercy is the bay. Alright. So she sends out her ducklet. I don't know. Skiddo is not the best type of effectiveness with that, but it's okay. It's okay. We're just gonna we're gonna use a leech seed first, just to just to prove our dominance over this lady. And of oh, are you kidding me? Did that just get rid of? Oh no, I default gets rid of stealth rocks. Never mind. Never mind. I was thinking that um he, she had just gotten rid of my leech seed right after I put it out. All right, water gun isn't gonna do a thing. And give us back that health. Nice, nice. I mean, Leech Seed does a lot better in competitive battling. So, what can I say? Alright. Does she have just one? I didn't see. Maybe she only has one Pokemon? Weary Seed? Nah, let's keep all moves. If we had Seed Bomb, I'd take that. Wait, Leo, let's switch, because we do not have the type of effectiveness. So let's go out to Fog Deer, just to get that type of effectiveness in. Alright, let's just use a quick Water Pulse. I like all the moves. With Frogadier, he doesn't get like the standard water moves like Water Gun. He gets the manly moves um, that are like ninja-like and stuff. Like Smoke Screen. Would you really think of like a like a water type getting Smoke Screen? I mean, you'd think of a fire type maybe, but I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, Pikachu. Um. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. So yeah, Frogadier, let's switch up real fast. And Pikachu, face my Pancham. Alright. Pancham. I'm, su I'm surprised in this cave that we haven't seen any um, Zubat yet pop out at us because it is called Zubat Roost. But I think... I think with X and Y something good they did was they made the caves not as like spammy, like and uh, I mean the, the sense that spammy it's like oh every second you get hit by a um like I don't know I mean like you get like ran into a Zubat that sort of thing not like oh um, my like I I don't I don't know how to describe it really I think they made the encounter rates better that's what I should say oddish. Oh, I, I pressed the wrong thing again. Uh, let's switch out from Pancham. Let's go to... Let's go to Charmeleon. Charmeleon, take care of this. We got the perfect type of effectivenesses. If that's the word. Oh my goodness, the Odyssey is on acid. Alright. Use Ember. Actually, we could use Dragon Rage. That'd probably kill it too. But, it's whatever. And there we go. I think that's that should be the last Pokemon. I hope it is, at least. Yep. Alright. Mercy me. The bay. Alright. Let's go. Oh, there's one hiker. Hmm. So, uh, if you want to get to Ambrett Town, 
You should best be heading back to Route 7, then take the other entrance to the cave. And what does this place do? Oh, it's all stealth here. I mean strength. What? Stealth? What am I, what am I saying? And we haven't even encountered one Zubat. That is not Zubat Roost. Alright, so let's go up here. Let's see. Alright, then... Let's see. We, sh we should be good with our Pokemon out right now. Alright. Zubat Roost, here we go. Hopefully this route isn't long. Oh, this is just the same cave as earlier. Hopefully it's a really short cave. Oh my goodness, a Wismer. Hoenn confirmed. Alright. Let's just fight it for... Actually, we can probably run. A Wismer's a Wismer. We'll let it live. Alright, let's run through here real fast. And, oh, a professor. Oh, I guess you don't want to battle me. I'm not important. Alright. Oh, you're going to let me put my Pokemon rest? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You're a really sweet old lady. Alright, no, you're not that old, so never mind. Oh, we didn't even see one Zubat in the cave. How amazing is that? Oh, the coast. Mor Morali Coast, Route 8. Stop right there. Hey, it's Dex and the other girl. Haha, ha, how are you and, you and your Skittle doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, I can't. That's why we are here to power up your Pokedex. The Coastal Kalos Pokedex was added to Kyle's Pokedex. The Coastal Kalos Pokedex will be on your Pokedex menu, so tap it to select it. Yada yada yada. Um, I kind of like the feature that they added multiple Pokedexes like this in this game because one it is a, it is a pretty big region um and i think that it's kind of cool how they they sort of did that to make it more exploratory and so it's not as big as a like as daunting as a task to actually complete the pokedex so i like i give props to game freak with that and let's go oh there's nothing there that's surprising they, they tricked me right there oh here we go Alright, an HP up, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Jump over here. Oh, we could actually just go up here. There's probably some Pokemon in there that I want to catch at some point. But we're not going to worry about it right now. Uh, dream big is what I say. Yada yada, future champion. Alright. Well, actually, while we're here... Actually, I already said the question of the day, so never mind. Let me read that. The day. Right, just a second, guys. Oh, uh, Axe, you? No way. That's that's crazy. Um, I'm sorry, Axe, but we're gonna have to uh, obliterate obliterate your wife right here. Alright. We're gonna send out this Floet um, because one Dragon type isn't effective, and Fairy Wind is going to kill it. Just like that. Alright, and there, there, there we go, that's good. And Float's level 20. Float is going like crazy. Alright, Wish? Yeah, let's let's learn Wish. Wish is a good move. Alright, let's forget Tackle, because we don't need Tackle. Alright, and just a second, I was just writing something down real fast. Alright, what? Forgot the uh, move Tackle, learned Wish. Skiddo, yada yada. For Froze level 16. Everybody's growing nowadays. It's crazy what you can do with an XP share. Alright. Now we're gonna have to encounter some Pokemon. We can't catch anything because we barely have any Pokeballs, so. Actually, we don't. Oh, Drifling? We don't want a Drifling, though, so it's alright. And we're actually gonna run from here because I kinda wanna get to Ambrette Town real fast. Um, before we end this episode. Alright, come through here, and, ooh. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, according to my prediction, this victory is as good as mine? I don't think so. Alright, Ryzen's R-H-Y-S. Rise? R Rising Star Rise? Freeze? How would you say that? But that's not even a word. Alright, but for this battle, oh, I don't mean to run. 
We're gonna actually go out to Frogadier because we're kind of running out of time here. So Frogadier is just gonna wreck for 13, hopefully real fast. All right. Leer. Oh, we gotta do fast moves. Fast moves that will kill their Pokemon. But quick attack isn't a fast animation, so. And, oh, are you kidding me? That didn't kill him. Oh my goodness, Arm Thrust is gonna take forever. I'm starting to think that this battle is gonna be at the end of the episode after this. And next time we will get to um, Ambret Town and we'll do the little adventures there. And then move on um, from there to Solage City where we'll face our second gym battle. Um, probably not in all one episode, but I guess you guys get the idea. Um, Skiddo, let's just switch out to... Yeah, I'm just gonna end the episode after this battle. Um, so let's switch out to Charvelian. Alright. Charmeleon, almost Charizard. Not bad. Alright, let's just use Ember. I don't think Dragon Rage will kill it all the way, so we can just kill it with a number. We can kill it with fire. Alright, and Goldeen, let's keep battling, let's use Dragon Rage. Oh, it's level 17, and no, Dragon Rage isn't gonna kill it. Let's be real here. Alright. Yeah, it's not gonna... Oh, it almost did. It almost did. But we avoided that attack, so let's go do a stra scratch right here. And there we go. That's the battle done. So, let's get the EXP. Alright. That's not as he predicted, so... Alright, so, thank you guys for watching um, this episode. Let's see. Can we... Are we almost there? Oh, we are. I can feel it. Uh, we're just gonna run while I'm doing my outro stuff, so... Um, actually, no, we're not there yet. We, we got a little ways to go. So, I'm just gonna end it right here, then. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to comment uh, with the question of the day, what's your favorite... What's your... You want a Mega Evolution to be? Um, and then... Yeah, because I'll be early in the video, so you can see that. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're liking this series. I'm going to try to finish it soon, so possibly at some point I can play Pokemon Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when it comes out in just a couple days. It's amazing, guys. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon X video.